In today's Staying Healthy report, now we all know that drinking sugary sodas and juices is not good for the waistline, but do you know how dangerous it can be to your health? Dr. Diane McAllister, who of course is the Chief Medical Officer at Porter Adventist Hospital, joins us to talk about some new research. Nice to see you again, Diane. Good to see you. Now, Harvard researchers say that one in every 100 deaths is the result of drinking sugary beverages. That's kind of a shocking statistic. It is astounding. They're attributing 180,000 deaths worldwide to sugary drinks in a study that they just did. So the obvious follow-up question is, do these sugary drinks kill the people? Well, no. Obviously, it's not the drink immediately killing the person. But what it is, is it's the calories and the um, obesity that results from those calories that leads to heart disease, diabetes, um, even cancer increase rates. So it's the after effects. How did researchers do their study? So this is a statistical study. They took um, a large study called the Global Burden of Disease that looks at eating habits and other habits of people worldwide and then disease, from how much disease there is. And they did statistical analysis to sort out how many sugary drinks people were uh, consuming and the rates of death in those countries. And how did the U.S. stack up against other countries in this research? Well, in uh, one time when it's not good to be first, we were third, but we're still very high on the list. Mexico actually has the highest consumption of sugary drinks, and Chinese women have the lowest consumption of sugary drinks. Interesting. And that Mexican Coke is so popular here in this country because it's using that really sweet cane sugar. Yeah, it tastes good. Well, have other studies found similar results? Yes, this is actually not new. Um, the studies by the um, American Heart Association have shown that there's definitely a, a link between incidence of heart disease and sugary drink intake, again, going back to obesity. Now, you're so good about bringing visual aids to help us understand these things that are coming out in the research, and you brought some sugar here. I did. How much sugar are we talking about in these sugary drinks? So this is a half a cup of sugar that you might think you put in a recipe. One of those large convenience store drinks or one of the big, big ones at the drive throughs has a half a cup of sugar in it. So that is a huge amount of sugar. A regular can of soda or one of the energy drinks contains 55 grams, which is a quarter of a cup. So still a lot of sugar in a small volume. Wow, it's really concentrated. Yes. How many calories would we get from a, a can of soda? Like so a can of soda would contain about 170 calories. Um, the, the big one is 387. And if you get the extreme big one, it's um, 778 calories. I mean, that's half your daily intake of calories right there. Which got Mayor Bloomberg all fired up with the, uh, the sugary drink ban that he tried to uh, enforce in, uh, in New York. Exactly. And I think some of the concern is that um, the studies also show that when we drink our cal calories through sugary drinks, we don't get feeling full, so we keep going. So what is the takeaway message? Well, the takeaway message really, I would say, is simple. Uh, reduce your intake of sugary drinks. Um, it's a political question whether we should force it, but if you substitute one glass of water for one of your sugary drinks every day and don't change anything else, you'll lose 15 pounds over a year. What about diet soda? Well, diet soda, um, again, you should moderate it. There are some studies that show that you tend to eat more calories when you're drinking diet soda. All right. No perfect solution here. Thank you so much, Dr. You're Diane welcome. McAllister.